Some relationship behaviors are healthy, some are abusive, and there are others that are somewhere unhealthy in between. In this interactive video, you'll be able to guess where different scenarios fall on the relationship spectrum. Is it healthy, unhealthy, or abusive? Remember, you define the boundaries in your own relationships. So what feels healthy for you might not feel healthy for someone else. Some behaviors might fall in between one of these three categories, but for the purposes of this video series, we will choose which one we feel fits best. Are you ready? Let's begin. This conversation is not over and you're not leaving until I say you can. So what do you think? Keeping someone somewhere they don't want to be is called false imprisonment, and it's abusive. Thanks for explaining why that name bothered you. I meant it to be funny, but I'm really sorry. I won't use it again. Here's a tricky one. What do you think? Owning your mistakes, acknowledging your partner's feelings, and moving forward in a healthy way sounds good to me. Seriously, everyone knew I was kidding around. Learn how to take a joke. So what do you think about this one? Even if it was a joke, it hurt your partner's feelings, and minimizing that is gaslighting. He won't answer any of my texts because I came out with you all. Where does this one fall on the spectrum for you? Giving the cold shoulder is not a healthy way to communicate your feelings. Who just texted you? Sam? No way. You're not talking to them anymore, remember? I think this one might land on the relationship spectrum. This is very clear isolation and control. It's abusive. I'm done talking about this. If you keep bringing it up, I'm just not going to respond anymore. Have you ever heard this from a partner? Where do you think it falls on the spectrum? You have to communicate about problems if you're going to have a healthy relationship. I already told you this. What are you, stupid? What do we think about this one? Name-calling is abusive. Thanks for always being there to listen and for never judging me. This is an easy one. Feeling safe to be yourself is so important in a healthy relationship. If you're not cheating, then you'd give me your phone. What do we think about this one? It's abusive when we use feelings of insecurity and jealousy to violate others' privacy. I know my family can be a lot, but thanks for spending time with them. It means so much to me. Where does this one land? Healthy partner supports all the important relationships in your life. Oh my God, you'll do fine on the science test tomorrow. Why don't you want to see me? Just come over. What do you think here? This is unhealthy. We should respect the goals and schedules of our partners. If you don't call me when you get home tonight, we're over. Where would you place this one? Threats are absolutely unacceptable in a relationship. I know it's far away, and of course I really would miss you, but this is your dream school. I can't let you turn it down. A healthy partner supports your goals and wants to see you be successful. 
I wouldn't always have to scream if you would just listen to me for once. It seems like this is a pattern of behavior. If you really loved me, you'd tell your friends you're hanging out with me tonight instead. All right, where do we think this one goes? Pressure and coercion are unhealthy traits in a relationship. Thanks for playing the Relationship Spectrum Quiz. Tell us what you thought in the comments and be sure to share with friends. And did you know that February is Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month? If you're interested in learning more or scheduling a youth education and prevention program with virtual options available, give us a call today.